everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video I'm gonna be doing another cook and clean with me and in this video I'm going to be doing kind of like a get ready for fall and I'm also doing this video in collaboration with Shelly from Style by Rosario she is another really great youtuber and she does some cook and clean with me's and shopping hauls and some really awesome DIYs so if you guys haven't checked her out I'll make sure to leave her link for her channel down in the description box and if you're coming over from Shelly's channel welcome and make sure you guys stick around and hit that subscribe button I'd really appreciate it and with all that said we're gonna go ahead and get started
I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide Tell me all of your lies I will put out all of the fire If it gets too dark
So throughout this video, you guys will probably notice that I am picking up kind of my everyday decor. I didn't really get too much um, for spring this year, so I just put out kind of like my everyday basics, like my placemats and my flower arrangements and some throw pills that you guys will see in the living room. What I'm doing to just prepare to put out all of my fall decor for a future video, so make sure you guys keep an eye out for that, is I'm just taking it and then I'm putting it into the um, spare room and then when I bring my fall decor out, I'm going to be putting all of this decor into that storage bin so that I can kind of recycle those around so that that way I don't have too many storage bins in my guest room closet. And I would like you guys to let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite holiday to decorate for? Mine's kind of a toss up between the Christmas time and um, fall, but I absolutely love decorating for both. And they're definitely the ones that kind of go all out with my home decor. So some of you guys may notice that kind of in the corner over there underneath my counter, I have another vacuum and that is a vacuum that I've had for years and it just doesn't have like the suction power anymore. So my grandparents, when they moved into their new apartment, were very generous and gave me their old vacuum because their apartment now has all hardwood floors. They didn't really need it. And let me tell you, this guy is pretty heavy, but it definitely does the job. It's been 27 nights Without you here by my side And I've been counting every hour Girl, since you stepped out of my life Oh, she ain't coming back All my friends are saying that So you don't even have to try Cause she ain't your Mrs. Right love was true love and they got no clue and i don't know what to do i've tried to ignore it cause that is what they say but deep down i know it it won't work out this way tell me are you feeling like i'm feeling only you would know cause i can't seem to let you go no i Your girls, they do the same Telling I'm the one to blame And you believed in all the rumors Yeah, they told you I was playing games Oh no, she ain't coming back All my friends are saying that So you don't even have to try
visible, yeah. I just try my best, gotta live it, but I'm nothing like before. We used to be strong, together we couldn't do wrong, now the magic is so now we can move on to the recipe and I'm going to be making a fall chicken skillet dish and for this we're going to need some flour, some low sodium chicken broth, you guys know I like to use the low sodium in my recipes. I'm also using some roast chicken flavored rice, some petite potatoes, some sweet potatoes, I'm just using two of them. I'm going to be using a quarter of a yellow onion. And then I'm also going to be using two bags of the Snack Pack Petite Carrots, but you can just use like regular carrots and just chop them up if you'd like. I'm also going to use one head of broccoli and then a whole um, broiler fried chicken. And then I'm also going to need just a little bit of butter. And for the seasonings, I'm going to be using just some salt. I got this cute little shaker from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm using some black pepper, garlic powder, I'm also going to use paprika, and then just a little bit of olive oil. So first things first, to make the seasoning for the chicken, I'm just going to combine all of the spices together in a bowl and mix them. And now I'm just going to take about a tablespoon of some softened butter and I'm going to rub it all over the chicken. And then I'm going to sprinkle about half of the seasoning onto the top of the chicken. And then I'm going to put some on the bottom as well as I'm going to put some into the cavity just to give it a lot of extra flavor. The next step is to go ahead and prep all of the vegetables. So I'm just going to be quartering my um, petite potatoes and then I'm also going to be quartering the sweet potatoes, trying to keep them into about one inch bites so that way they can all fit into the skillet and then I'm going to put all of those into a container along with the quarter of an onion. Keep on like this for rappers, moving on like this non-style Baby, don't be afraid, you just follow my way Tonight we will fight together We will rock it tonight and forever Just jump on this fight, fight together We will rock it tonight and forever Just jump on this fight, fight We would rock it all night Girl, you're looking so fine We would make it up right We would take it up high We would rock it all night Girl, you're looking so fine so now it's time to assemble the dish and I just have a cast iron skillet right here. I'm going to put the chicken right in the center and then I'm going to kind of sprinkle the um, onions and potatoes and sweet potatoes all around it. And then I did coat the potatoes in a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. I just lost the footage for that and I do apologize. And then I'm just going to put it into a 400 degree oven for about an hour and a half. And while that is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and cut up my broccoli and then I'm going to um, put the baby carrots in with the broccoli. And I'm going to put those into a skillet with just a little bit of water so that, that way I can steam them. And then I'm going to season them again with a little bit of salt and pepper and I'm going to toss them in a little bit of butter as well. You are kind of like a fire, like a fire, like a fire. 
So now it's time for the last step and that is making the gravy and I'm just using some of the chicken broth. I'm going to be putting in about two tablespoons of flour, whisking that together and then I'm going to slowly add in more chicken broth until it gets to the consistency that I want and then you just salt and pepper to taste. And then that is going to be it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!